the main underpinning of our conceptual framework of Parkinson's and in fact of other neurodegenerative diseases is based on that which accumulates and can be measured on autopsy. And currently there are some PET imaging technologies that allow us to, in fact, uh, uh, measure these and quantify them. So we have been thinking of the concept of proteins going up, where in fact, proteins are going down in their normal state. And what we can measure is the end stage of proteins in what's referred to as a cross beta configuration, otherwise known as an amyloid. So Louis pathology, both Louis bodies and Louis neurites are expressions of normal protein no longer able to work because they have become aggregated. So it has made sense to think that the aggregation is the beginning of the disease. But in fact, when reviewing the data in humans, it becomes clear that it seems very much an end. As such, chasing it, trying to clear it, uh, seems to be equivalent to chasing a tail where we would not be able to correct the problem because we would, in fact, simply be cleaning the debris, so to speak, as if, and this is an analogy that I used in my presentation, uh, you cannot just clean the forest uh, when it has been chopped and expect that cleaning that forest alone is going to bring that forest back to health. So in fact, what we need is to reforest whatever we see as a deforested forest, uh, that analogy is what we need to start applying to neurology. So my position in the debate was to defend uh, the alternative to the view that synuclein aggregation as pathology is pathogenic, when in fact is a consequence, and therefore think about in the future of strategies that might in fact help us elevate the concentration of the normal proteins that are being lost in the process of aggregation.